course, that's obviously now full, right? Yes. I want you to do the same thing with this bottle over here. Okay. I put a little food coloring in there so you can see it better because we are going to do an experiment that I like to call the mysterious elliptical bottle. Keep going till it comes out so we were sure it's absolutely full. Keep going, go on. There we go, okay. Two bottles full of red liquid. What'll happen if you squeeze this round one? It will overflow. Okay, try it. Sure enough, okay. Now, what will happen if you squeeze this one on the side? Try it. it Nothing sinks. coming out. No, it, it goes down. Why? I'm not sure. Well, now think. You know how to find the volume of something? Have you yeah. had that in school? How, how do you find the volume of a thing like this? Area times height. Yeah, area of the oh, base yeah, times the height. height. Okay. Well, the area of this base is like a circle, right? Right. Okay. But notice the area of this base is not a circle. It's a thing called an ellipse. And an ellipse is like taking this circle and squeezing it so that it's like that. And notice that while this is the same circumference, the more like, the more elliptical I make it. In other words, the skinnier. Watch what happens to the volume. So it, the it goes skinnier. It's skinnier and skinnier. <laughs> yeah. So pretty soon it it's would be nothing. Line. Right. Right. So therefore, when you have an elliptical bottle, what are you going to do when you squeeze it? The it will go like. Where well, it's going to make it more like this one, right? Yeah. Okay. You can see now why I call it the mysterious elliptical bottle because fill it full all the way. Okay. Now squeeze it. Watch, look how much I can add. A lot. Okay, now let it go. You see why I call it the mysterious elliptical <laughs> bottle? Okay, yeah. great. 